Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. We're just allowing a few people to get online here this morning uh, so we can get started. Yes. If you'll just be patient for a minute or so and uh, we'll get going with uh, some great Bible uh, verses this morning. And uh, Good morning. Good morning. Need some encouragement in your life. Praise God. And then we're going to offer up prayer for anybody that, uh, that, it, that needs prayer, uh, spoken or unspoken, or a uh, praise report. If you want to comment those things as we are going through this, we're going to... We're going to cover all of those things. Good morning. Good morning, Cindy. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. How's everybody doing on this Friday? We made it. Woo, woo, Good morning. Woo. Yeah. Friday. Friday. Two days closer to Sunday, we get to see and yes. worship our God. How's yes. everybody doing today? Amen. Amen and amen. Yay. Amen. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Hmm. <clears throat> All right. So welcome, welcome. Good morning, and Pat. Good morning, thank Mary. You for joining. Good morning, everybody. Let's get started with the word of prayer. Amen. Shall we? Amen. Let's get going. Yeah. All right. All right. Woo. All right. So let's go into prayer. Heavenly Father, Lord, we just say thank you, God, Lord, for yes. today, God, Lord, we just give you all the glory, honor, and praise, Jesus. Yes, Father. Lord, I just ask, Lord, during this time, Holy Spirit, come in, Lord. Come in. Have your way, Lord. I just ask for you to go through the airwaves right now, Father God, Lord, and touch those, Lord, that are listening. Yes. Open their spiritual ears and their spiritual eyes today. Yes, Father God, Lord, go into their name. spirit, man, right now, Lord, and draw them. Let, yes. the, let your word touch them today, Lord, as we walk in you today with our head yes. held high, Father head God. Held high. Yes. Ask Jesus you, Lord, to name. bless those that are watching, Lord, in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' Amen. name, Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Um, yeah, we're going to continue to pray for Cindy. Cindy Everybody, as you see in the comments right now, Cindy's uh, dad is still in the ICU. Um, and, and her mom said mentally is, is, is suffering there after recovering from COVID. Uh, would they be healed in the name of Jesus. Jesus. We all come yes. in one accord yes. and lift up her parents right now in Jesus' yes, name. In Jesus that they are name. just touched and brought through these trials. Yes. Uh, not only for them, but for her family as well, herself and her family. Uh, this this patriarch and matriarch of the family, that, uh, that y'all find peace, that Cindy's family finds peace and comfort yes. in this moment. Yes. Praise God. Praise God. So, yes. Um, do you want to go through, uh, we've been talking about the nine different uh, words for praise. We need to start our day in praise of Him. We need to go through our day in praise of Him. We need to we need to just be worshiping all day long. And I'm not talking about turning on music. Yeah. I'm talking about praising the Father. You, you know, when it says to seek His face, go into that secret place, that secret place I want you to understand God wants to hear our prayers, and we're going to lift up quite a few this morning. But I want you to understand when you go to that secret place, you are seeking his face to be in yes, his presence. Man. So he will speak to you. So he will speak to you and guide yes, you yes. And, and show you where you need to go through the day. That's why we want to seek his face and we want to praise him. Yes, he knows the desires of heart. Right. Yes, he wants to hear our prayers. But he wants us to have a love relationship with him, Amen. a communion with him. Yes. So I just, we go through these words because we want you to understand these are all things that we need to do in praising him, Amen. in praising him. Yes, yes. Mm. The words that we are going over today, do you want to cover these two words? Sure. Okay, number that I hear. Now, I'm not a Hebrew uh, expert, <laughs> so, <laughs> but I'm going to try because these are so important. As the Lord put it on my spirit Monday, it's so important to praise Him, yes. to worship our God. Yes, and yes. This is Barak. It means to kneel, and it also means to bless. In Psalm 103, David was commanding his soul to bless the Lord. Mm. Your mind, your will, and emotions may not feel like blessing him at times. That's why you have to learn to command it. Command it. Bless the Lord, oh my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Amen. Amen. Amen and amen. It's so important. Praise Barak. God. It means to kneel. 
you know, even when I was a younger girl, I, I um, you know, praise God, I grew up seeing many things of the Lord and knowing. But, you know, there's a time and a place, even when we're praising and worshiping, it just overcomes me where I'm praising and worshiping God that I just go kneel down at the altar. I just put it down. I just get down on my knees because that is a form of worship. Yes. And I encourage you to do that, yes. to get down on your knees, to worship our Heavenly Father. Barak, that means get on your knees and bless the Lord. Yes. All right, Ben, help me with this word. Come on. Uh, I believe it's shakak. Uh, I, I just listened to the word like 15 <laughs> we times. We listened to it even. We listened to the word. I'm going to put it in the in the comments, uh, the comments to, that how it is spelled. So you can look this up. Yeah, I encourage you, if you're watching and you're going through, read the scriptures we do. The Holy Spirit puts it on our heart. And, and, I, and I hope it blesses you, and I hope you take it forth each day that we're on. I just praise God for all that join us in the mornings. Um, we have had some amazing feedback, and that, and that goes on to God. Yes. That's, that's God because it was a confirmation that we even started these mornings. Amen, amen. So praise God that you're on, and praise I just God, encourage yes. you all so to happy walk you're in here it. with us. We are happy, but I just ask you to walk in that praise, Amen. walk and share these things and walk knowing what God has given us and what we need to do. So this word is shikak. I just put it on there. So if I'm mispronouncing it, you can look it up. I want you to understand this is, this means to, to stretch out prostrate, prostrate. Okay. This means lay on the floor, face on the floor and praise him and give him praise in that moment. Uh, I was actually a couple weeks ago, this uh, this lady was like, uh, is it okay to do that? No. If that, and she was feeling that the spirit wanted her to be on her face. I said, get on your face, girl. Don't be talking to me. Go to mm -hmm. God. If he's giving you that in your spirit right now, do Good, it. Do and it. that is the word right there that we want to prostrate, our, prostrate ourselves out before the Lord. It also means to fall down before the Lord, to crouch, to humbly beseech, to yes, reverence, and sir. to worship him. We want to do these things every single day in our lives. Yes. We want to make sure that we are praising him. Yes. We want to make sure that we are giving him everything. That we, I tell you what, I love going to church. I love it. I love it. I love going to church. I, I love going and, and hear, hearing a Holy Ghost-filled individual give the word. But that's for me. That's for me. You understand that? When we go for praise and worship, and I understand that praise and worship now is we do a lot of singing. But we don't have to do that just on Sunday morning. We don't have to sing. You can sing to, well, I don't, I don't have a good voice. Neither do I. <laughs> Neither do I. Lift it up to him in all moments, in all ways, yeah. all day, every day. You don't need a playlist. You need a praise list. Come on. Give it to him today. Give it to him, praise God. Amen. Yes, in Jesus' Amen. name. Amen. Yes, yes. Do you have anything else that you were... Uh, that was on your spirit to talk about this morning before well, I go into these no, scriptures. No, I want you to go into exactly what uh, you're going to go into. Yeah, could you comment these uh, these two scriptures right Absolutely. here? Absolutely. I'm going to be covering Isaiah 61 1 first. Isaiah 61 1. Uh, Leslie is uh, putting that in the comments right now. I want you to understand some things here this morning because I want you to be set free and free indeed in the Son of God. In what Jesus did for you and for me to be set free and free indeed. Come on. This morning I'm going to read 61.1 and then we're going to talk about it just a little bit. The mighty spirit of Lord Yahweh. This also means the spirit of prophecy, okay? The spirit of prophecy in this particular translation, when you look at the original Hebrew, he is speaking from the spirit of the Lord. He is speaking from a spirit of prophecy, which is the Holy Spirit speaking through him, is wrapped around me. And I feel that this morning. He is wrapped around me when yes, I share this to you because I want to impart these things yes, into God. you today because yes. Yahweh has anointed me. There's an anointing in my life. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Thank you Father yes. God. Thank you. Yes. And that, that's not special for me. He's anointed you too. You just got to step into it. Step you got to walk in it. Come on. I understand. The anointing oil. Okay. Here, here's, here's the, uh, the, the, the issue that we have in the flesh with the anointing. To make oil, you have to crush. 
To make oil, you have to be squeezed. To make oil, you have to be changed from what you were into what God has you to be. That's that anointing. It says, as a messenger, he is sending me as a messenger to preach the good news to the poor. Mm -hmm. If you are feeling poor in spirit, I am preaching to you right now. There is no need to walk in that. Come on. He sent me to heal the wounds of the brokenhearted. Be healed right now in Jesus name yes. to tell captives you are free and to tell prisoners be free from your darkness. Yes. I want you to understand how powerful that is yes. because right now I want you to walk forward in a new thought process. You are healed. Yes. You are just fighting sickness. Yes. You Ooh, are. I was just about to say. Woo. Thank you. Yes. Jesus. Yes. I'm it's telling you right mindset. now. You it is a to, mindset. Woo, it God, is a mindset. On. You are not in chains any longer. You are set free. You are just fighting against the captor. That, that one that he's out there to try to get you back yes. in jail. But you've been set free. I'm telling you right now, when you change your thought process about who you are in Christ Jesus, you are not sick. You are healed but well, by what Jesus did on the cross. Come on. Now you're fighting sickness. You are not a captive anymore. You are free indeed. You are not a sinner. You are a saint fighting sin. Do you yes, understand that? God. When we change our thought process, when we change from the person that is a victim to the person that is a victor victim. in Christ Jesus, I'm telling you right now, everything will change yep. in your life. Come on. We have to change that mindset. Can I get mindset. some amens? Come on, get, get some amen. amen. Let's get some Come amen. Let's Come on. Come on. Everybody I'm get praying. excited Come this on. morning and what Holy Spirit is doing in your life. Yes. Praise God. Good yes. morning, Travis. Good, Good morning, morning, Travis. Thank you for joining us. The next scripture, I want to talk a little bit first about something. I want you to understand, you know, we've all seen the videos, okay? The, the farmer, the rancher opens up the barn doors, the dark barn doors all night long. These baby animals, calves, goats chickens, ducks, whatever. He opens up and what do the babies do? They come out jumping and they leap. And you watch that video and you go, man, that's exciting. Man, that's so cute. And you share it to everyone and you see, oh man, that video's got 10 million shares. That's what God does for us. Come on. He opens the door from our prison. He opens the door from our darkness and we come out into the morning. Yes, We're going to go to God. Malachi 4 here. We're going to go to Malachi 4, verse 2. I wanted to preface it with that right there because I want you to understand what these scriptures are meaning today. 4, 2. But you who fear my name, uh, when we give him awe and we give him reverence, we give him the proper respect for who God is in our lives. Good morning, Jennifer. Good morning. I tell you what, when we do that, when we walk in the awe of who our father is, when we walk that, when we realize who our Father God is, we realize that we are sons and daughters in Him. Praise God. Jesus, thank you, Father. Yes, God. The sun of righteousness shall rise with healing in its wings. I'm telling you, when you walk in the awe of God, His healing wings come over you all day long, every day. Mm -hmm. And here it is. You shall go out leaping <clears throat> like calves from the stall. Wow. Right, I'm telling you right now, you need to have that excitement in your life. Yes. And you're saying, I don't feel like it right now. Then we need to, we need to yep. shadok that we were talking about earlier. We need to get on our face in front of him and praise his holy name in yes, this moment. Because God. I'm telling you right now, that will change everything. Praise in the Father. We all hear the thing. We say it. Praise him in our storm. But do we do it? I'm encouraging yeah. you this morning. Do, do it. it. Do it because God's got great things for you. God's got wondrous things for you. Yes, God's got God. miraculous things for you. And he's got good plans. When you listen to him, there will be a voice and he will direct you. When you spend more time with him, you will understand and hear that voice. I'm telling you right now, folks, walk in it in Jesus' name. Yes, praise God. Praise, praise God. God. Yes, yes. What an awesome word of encouragement. You know, that we can wake up with that as he's already opened that door, wake up and just be happy and thankful and leap around, yes. you know, and that's what's so awesome in that, you know, we were talking about a mindset. When we are in that storm, sometimes we focus only on that storm. Oh, well, I'm going through this. Uh, I don't know how I'm going to pay my bill. Let me tell you something. As the Lord brought it to me uh, months back as I gave a, a, a teaching on faith, when we go through the hardest times, Ben. Yes. The hardest <clears throat> times. 
And I'm talking some hard stuff that I mentioned. Uh, I'm, I'm talking losing your house, uh, uh, losing Damn. a loved one, mm. losing a spouse, losing your marriage is in shambles. Yes. Do not focus on that. Focus what the Word of God says. Amen. Amen. What your get your what does it say in Romans twelve two? We are new in Him. Yes. We are transformed yes. by the Holy Spirit. Yes. Amen. We don't need to dwell. No. We no. don't need to dwell. Is this reaching anybody? No. Come on. Am now. I getting? Is this sinking in? Come on. Come on. Is this encouraging you today that yes. we need to walk in it? We need to possess it. We need to to get up and get our minds right. That's exactly right. That's exactly right. Because we have lived too long in the pit. Yes. Crawl out. He's God's already got his hand right there. <coughs> Come on. Come yes. on, brother. Come you, on, sister. You said something right before we started. You talked about and and then it was and then the Holy Spirit was speaking to me about being delivered from our prison. Yes. You know, and then the, what the devil does is he come in and he lies to you and he convinces you of stuff. And then he can go about his business because you're trapped in your own thoughts about exactly. those things. Exactly. Exactly. That's exactly right. You know, we have believed the lies for so long that we just live in it. He's out already just roaming around. He's already, you know, and that, that stronghold, that place has already taken precedence in our mind. Yes. You know, and Ben tells a great story that you, that as we were talking, as the Spirit was leading this morning, Ben, share that story about the elephant. You know, that in, over in other countries, they will train an elephant, you know, uh, and I understand that, you know, today that it's not the way to do things, but what they do would, they get a baby elephant and they put this really heavy chain in this, in this, uh, this metal thing around their leg and there's no way that this baby elephant can break that chain and then as the as the elephant gets older they change it into a rope a rope that could, he could easily snap like that but his mind is set his thought process is I am still in chains. Mm. I'm telling you right now that the chains that were once around you are Hello. gone. Hello. Any chain that you have is right here in your mind because you've been set Hallelujah. free Hallelujah. in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. I'm telling you right now. You are, We all know of these. Uh, we see it in the news. We see it in these uh, reports. These, these very wealthy people, and they have houses all over the world. Oh, man, they got 20 houses. Do they live in each one of those houses at the same time? No. They don't, but it's still their house. You can't evict Satan from that house. You can't tell him. He no longer has any legal right in that home. Yes, I, <clears throat> I'm telling you right now, and you need to understand this. There was a time that the slavery and the fear was over me all day long. I might as well said Satan was my dad because I was only trapped in what he told me I was. But then I was set free. Come on. I was free indeed in Come what on. the Son of the Son of God did on the cross for me Thank that you, day. Jesus. He Hallelujah. did it for you too. Thank he you, set Jesus. you free. Do you Come understand on. that? You are set free. You, you can say, so hey, good. here here is your instant notice, Satan. You are not in this house anymore. This is a house of God. This is a temple. This is where he lives inside of me. He you you are gone. Get out of here in Jesus' name. I am covered by the blood of Jesus from head to toe, and I am free. All chains are broken off. They are just, bam, I'm free indeed. Yes. Praise God. You don't have to be yes. that baby elephant wrapped in a chain around your leg. You don't have to be that. You can snap it off because you've been made a warrior in Christ Jesus. You yes. are a Christian soldier. You have your armor of God on you. You have your garment of salvation your robe of righteousness you are set free come on live that way today freedom freedom friday freedom friday yes. freedom friday say praise god everybody say praise god right now praise in god. jesus name praise, praise god. god praise god Woo. yes thank you god for that praise report from patricia Woo. she says hallelujah answered prayer yes. oh thank you jesus thank you jesus yes oh, uh, pat you, and jesus. i spoke about this Ooh, the other day and she's god. been asking for prayer for her grown mm. children Praise God Thank that he came in and he broke down and he yes. can do it for you. He doesn't love Pat any more than you. And I'm telling you right now, he Jesus had Pat's name on her his mind when he was on the cross and he had Ben's name and he, he had Leslie's yours. name. He had Michelle's name. He had Cindy's name. He had <clears throat> 
Angela. He had he had Jose. I'm telling you, everybody. Jennifer, uh, Mary. He had uh, uh, Jerry. He had your name on his mind yes, when he, he hung on the cross. And he says, I'm paying the price for you right now, baby. Yes. I love you so much. You are a child of God. Praise God he did that yes. for each and every one of us. Yes. Woo! Come on now. Woo. Come on. Oh, good, good, morning, good, morning, morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Praise and God. Welcome. If you just now are joining, I I tell you, go back and watch it from the beginning. God is on the move. But Woo. I tell you right now, we need to walk in our healing. We need to walk in our deliverance. We need to walk with what God has said that he's already got. He's already done it for us, folks. Yes. He's already done it. Price is paid on the cross. Woo. God and you know, he doesn't good. have He doesn't have to do it again. He did it once. And for all, as the scriptures say, once and for all. Just say that again. Once and for all, Satan, you are out of my life. Once and for all, what you say about me, I'm telling you right now, is a lie. Once and for all, I am set free in Christ Jesus. Once and for all, these chains are broken. Once and for all, that prison door is open. Once and for all, I've been... I've been relieved of this sickness. Yeah. Once and for all, I my mind is set free. Once and for all, I am filled up with the Holy Spirit. Yes. Once and for all, I am filled up with the Word of God. Come on. Praise God. Come on Come now. on. Come, Come on. on now. Yes. Woo. I'm going to start preaching here. <laughs> oh, oh, yes, 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 yes. yes. Once and for all. Cindy said it. Yes. Once and for all, uh, I am set free. There is yes. a prayer request that just went down. It's from Cindy, her baby. Uh, Gianna, uh, she woke up with a low-grade fever. Yes, we were going to lift her up. And, y'all, I want y'all to pray for uh, our grandson. Um, he, he doesn't have a fever, but he was, you know, we have, we've have we had him for a few days now. And um, he's actually in the other room. Um, he, he's laying down. But he's kind of whiny, and he's just, um, he was coughing this morning. He was congested. I prayed over him. And I just want y'all to um Put him down and pray for him too, as we're going to be praying up for these little babies. Hey, good, good morning, morning, Laura. Good morning, good morning, good morning Laura. Yes, yes. Amen. If y'all are just not joining in, I say go back and watch it from the beginning. Uh, yes. We're going to get. Are, are you? You have anything else to say? No, and I know. I, I mean, I got lots more to say. The Holy Spirit is just <laughs> bubbling, bubbling inside of me this morning. I'm fired up. <clears throat> I'm telling you what. I love starting this morning with every single one of you because I'm Thank telling you, you right now, God is good. God is I got good. up, I get up in the God morning. Great. <clears throat> I got up around 4.30 this morning. I was in, in prayer and travail this morning. And I was just like, man, I just don't want to put my feet on the floor. And God says, get up. Somebody needs encouragement today. Come on. He goes, I encouraged you, so give it to someone else. It says for in the, in the word to walk together. So when one of us stumbles, we can help the other yes. one up. We can pick them up. I'm picking you up right now Come in on. Jesus' name. As Isaiah said in the scriptures that we just read in Isaiah 61, 1, uh, he was sent by the spirit of prophecy. He was sent by Lord God, Yahweh. And I'm telling you right now, Take that as a prophetic yes, word. God. God's got good stuff for yes, you. He God's does. got healing in your life. God's yes, got deliverance in your God. life. And yes, once you Jesus. once you change your mindset, once you yes, change your mindset God. and understand what God's got for you, I'm telling you right now, everything will change. Yes. Everything will change. Well, this is the way I've always been. You don't have to be that way. Well, this is the way my mom was. I'm just like her. You don't have to be. Your yes. Father God yes. in heaven gave you DNA. Yes. Your Father God in heaven delivered you with His Son on the cross. Your Father God in heaven knew you before you were, <clears throat> you were born. Your Father God in heaven knew your name before all creation. He yes. miraculously and fearfully yes. made you. He stitched you together in your mother's womb. That's who you are. Yes. Anything else other than that is a lie from enemy. We just covered that. That chain is broken right now yes. in every single one of you. I impart that Jesus on you name. in Jesus' name. Yes. I reach out right now. I lay hands on you and I claim healing over you in Jesus' name. Yes. You are healed. You are walking now whole and you are fighting illness. You are walking now free and fighting <clears throat> against the temptations to be back in that prison. You are walking now holy and holy yes, and knowing that God. you do not have to submit to sin. You've been yes. being given freedom in Jesus' yes. name. Praise in God. Jesus name. Jesus name. You know, I just, I, I'm, I'm just feeling it. I want, I just, I want to tell you this. There, there's so many times that when we go and we go into prayer, he is our God and God yes. is awesome. But I want you to understand the power of 
Jesus' name. Yes. Okay, there's power in the name of Jesus. There is. Okay, there's power in the name of Jesus. So I, I tell you, as we pray, that's why we say in Jesus', in Jesus name, name. There is power and authority, authority that it gives us. Yes, okay? So we walk in power, we walk in authority through him. Yes. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. There's yes. nobody else, like the Lord told me a few days when I was talking about it. There's no one else but Jesus That's Christ. Right. That's There's right. no other way but Jesus Christ. Yes, yes but Jesus Christ. So that's why it says when you say the name of Jesus, every name, every tongue, everything shall confess he is the Lord of Lords, yes. the King of Kings. Yes. So that's why it's important that we say Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. When we pray, we say in Jesus name, yes. because all these things <clears throat> that we've talked about and that you've mentioned today are freedom. Break, breaking through the deliverance, the healing that we walk in is only because of Jesus. Jesus yes. So say it with me. Jesus. Jesus. In yes. Jesus' name, all of these things. And yes, yes, yes. Yes, there is power in the name of there Jesus. There is power. I want you guys to understand what and what yeah, Leslie's talking about. You could be looking at us and like, I wish I could do that. I, I wish yeah. I felt that way in the Holy Spirit. This yeah. has nothing to do with me. I'm going to tell you something <laughs> that may may blow your mind. In my in my flesh, I'm an idiot. In my flesh, I'm, I'm I'm a loser. In my flesh, I'm all those things that everybody has ever said to, of me. But my flesh, get behind me, Satan. Mm -hmm. Put my spirit man first. I'm mm -hmm. telling you right now, that's what the spirit man will do. When you commune with the Holy Spirit, you will be made whole. I don't have to worry about who Ben is in the flesh anymore. Jesus paid the price, and he can do it for you. Yes. I'm telling you right now, yes. I am nothing special. Leslie is nothing, nothing special. G Jesus is the special one. God sent him to live inside of you, and then he released the Holy Spirit inside of you. Flesh be gone, spirit man come forth. And I'm telling you right now, every single one of you, that is true. They would, I don't know what to say. Open your mouth and let the Holy Spirit say it. I don't know what to do. Ask the Holy Spirit what to do. I'm not your source. Leslie's not your source. Your pastor yet your home church is not your source. That is not your source. Jesus is your source. Come on. God is your source. Come on. The Holy Spirit is your source. I'm so happy that you join us every morning, but I'm telling you right now, your source comes from Him. He yes. has mighty things for you. Yes. This has nothing to do with me and Leslie. This is just us following what he told us to do. Praise God, and he has something for you. Yes. I, I want to know what that is. Pray about it. Yes. Seek his face. Get down in these praise words that we continue to cover every morning. Yes. Get down and praise him because yes. he has something for you. He yes. has a ministry in your life. Yes. He has a calling in your yes. life. He has an assignment in your yes. life, and you can walk yes, in that God. in Jesus' yes. name. Praise yes. God. Yes, yes, walk in it. Mm, walk in yes. it. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. Anything else? No, no. Anything I'm on else? fire, and I... Mm. I mean, woo, yes, God, yes. Mm, yes, Ooh, and I, I, I completely understand, Cindy. I do, I, too. I do, I do, I do, because that flesh will come in, and, and the enemy will come in and say, you know, uh, why even pray? It's not doing any good. Mm -hmm. I know, I, you're like, oh, I can't believe he's saying that. I'm telling you right now, these are things that I fight, too. I fight it. You fight it. These are common. It says in the Word of God, none of us go through things that others have never experienced, right. right? I want you to understand. those. That is common things the enemy. Praise the enemy God. knew how to get to me Spirit. in the past, and he tries the same thing today. He doesn't have a new bag of tricks. He uses the same thing that got the old bin acted up and doing what he wanted me to do. I'm telling you right now, yes, there is doubt. Okay, but that's why we go to him. Those times of tribulation, those times of trials, those are the times that we go from a five pound weight to a 10 pound weight, from a 10 pound weight to a 20 pound weight, from a 20 pound weight to a 50 pound weight. That's when our faith muscles are built. Now, I understand and I want you to completely understand we need to pray for God's will to be done. We, we don't know and we don't have the same thoughts as he has. 
We don't have his thoughts. His thoughts are above our thoughts. And we cannot lean on our own understanding. But it says in the word, when two or more are praying in the name of yes, Jesus, God. that he hears us and that he answers our yes, prayers. Jesus. And yes, I know this for certain. He doesn't always answer the prayers the way I want them answered. Right. But he answers them perfectly every single time when we give it to him. Praise God Praise in Jesus' God. name. So we're lifting you up for strength, Cindy. We're lifting you up. For uh, in that faith, we are yes. proclaiming right now, Satan, she yes. has the helmet of salvation on her head. Yes. Her eyes are covered. Her ears are covered. You cannot yes. speak into her. The lies of the enemy be gone in Cindy's mind right now. Yes. In Jesus' in name, Jesus she name. her mindset is on God, not on what could happen. Her mindset is on the will of God, not the things that the doctors say. I'm telling you right now, God is making a move in your life, yes. Cindy. And I'm telling you that for everybody here. God yes. is making a move yes, in your Jesus. life. Just get Ooh. out of his way Ooh. and let God, him God, have God. Yes, God. Father God. Woo. Yeah. I tell you what. Yes, we are on fire. The yes. Spirit of God. The enemy will Ooh, not win. Sister yes. girl, I, you said I feel the Holy Ghost. Yes, he is. Mm. And that's what I pray every time we come on. That he goes through the airways and that you feel him. Yes. And that fire yes. is consuming inside of you. Yes. Because it starts with us going to Him. Yes. He coming in because He's inside of us. Amen. Let that fire just come man, I'm out. I'm fixing to have to go great. turn on the air conditioner, man. <laughs> I'm getting fired up in here. I got the ceiling fan on and everything. I'm telling you what. You know, she's got, she got these uh, sleeping pants on. We wear some nice shirts, but underneath where you can't see, we're, we're wearing our, our pajamas. I'm going to be honest with you. But I'm telling you right now, I'm fired up, and I hope you're fired up too because you want to take that fire, that consuming fire, into your day, yes. into your Friday proclaim the word of God proclaim the glory of yes. God show people the love you don't have to say it live it when you live it people see it That's lives it. are changed lives are changed and they say what's in her today what's in him today I'll tell you what's inside of me Jesus, Jesus Christ baby Jesus. you want to you want to talk about him well no right now well I'll talk uh, when I come next time we'll talk about him okay or they'll say yes I want to talk about him right now I want to have what you have live it live. love it Mm, praise God. Woo, man. I'm telling Woo. you what. It's a wonderful day yes, today. Praise God. God yes, for that. receive it. Receive, receive it. it. Receive yes, it. What so has. I'm going to go through our prayer list. I'm real, qu real quickly, I'm going to talk about our praise reports. Uh, we just had one from Pat. Praise Thank God. You, Jesus. Uh, Pat, that uh, her children uh, have contacted her. That there were some issues in the family. And after prayer, you know, God sometimes answers prayer like that. Sometimes it takes time and he's got to work through all the things, mm. all the things that are going on. Praise God. He answers perfectly every single time. Yes, God. Danny Red's out of the hospital. Thank you, Jesus. Isaac Dominguez is doing better. Judy's water's back on. Carter does not need surgery in his eyes. Praise God. Jose Moreno is back home with his family. Yes. Flora, uh, the, 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 the wound that she, uh, the, the issue that she had is taken care of. Jordan and Jamie, their prayer from over a year ago was answered. Praise God. Venice is home and Mickey is home. Cancer free. Praise, Praise God. God. Praise God. <coughs> yes. Pardon me. Uh, we're praying for Colt as we asked for earlier. Praying for him. Hold this one second, please, baby. Hmm. Sure. <clears throat> Yes, we're praying for Colt for his congestion. We're praying for baby Gianna for a low-grade fever. We are praying for Mark Woodall. We got a call from a gentleman last night. We don't know who he is, no. but he reached out because he saw us online, and he reached out for prayer. He's in the hospital, and he's having he's in, surgery he's in right now. DTAR in Victoria. Uh, there's a diabetic issue. They're actually having yeah. surgery to remove his foot today. So we need to keep him yeah, in prayer. Him I spoke to him prayer. last night and he goes, I don't even know how I got a hold of you. I tell you what, it was God. <laughs> it's God. God. He needed someone to talk to. He needed someone to pray for him. I'm praying for him and the supernatural healing over his yes, foot. And yes. I want you to join me and also over his granddaughter and the things that are going on with, uh, yes. with him. Um, Bruce called me yesterday. I'm going to continue to pray because he had a really busy day yesterday. Uh, working on his garden along those lines. We're going to continue to pray for strength. Ashley, I'm not sure if she's with us this morning, but she's been in the hospital uh, several times, and now she's finally getting the help that she needs. Praise God. Um, I'm not sure about Lily with the track meet yesterday, but we prayed for her and the, all the other kids out there. 
Uh, we want to pray for the Hallettsville High School because there was a, 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 uh, a teacher. teacher that lost her life uh, to some health complications. And then she had she got COVID pneumonia and that was just too much for her body. But I understand that she had just a sweet spirit. So we're going to pray for her and her family and the, her, the children. Uh, Ricky, I know Jennifer asked us to pray for his surgery. We're continuing yes, to pray we're for praying. him. Jennifer, if you're still on, can you please, if there's an update, we would love to know as we're going to continue to pray for him. Yeah, Jennifer's online with us oh, right now. We're God. just letting you, letting you know that we're continuing to pray for Ricky. Uh, Walter's wife, Larry Bardofsky's son, um, we're praying for our, our, our sister Becky, and we're praying for everybody because we all go through this. When we have a... Uh, uh, someone that is very close to us, a friend, a sister, or a brother, and something happens and that relationship goes to the wayside. Well, I want to pray for every single person that has suffered from that or is going through that right now because I do know the closer we get to Jesus, the enemy comes in and tries to do anything he can That's right. to destroy our relationships with our brothers and sisters in Christ. So we're going to claim that. Uh, we're continuing to claim... Uh, 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 comfort and peace over Bree, Travis, and Carrie. Oh, praise report on him. Uh, yes, and Jesse, yes. So we prayed for Jesse. He was the person. He said he felt like he had nobody to pray for him, and we encouraged him that we are all brothers and sisters in Christ. Good morning, Saul. Uh, we're all brothers and sisters in Christ and praying for him. He uh, had this virus, and he messaged me, and he said, Praise God. He said he's had the best day he's had, uh, and he is on the mend, and he's feeling so much better. So that is a praise report. Praise report. Yes. Praise report. Hey, Saul. Guapo Hormano. How you doing, brother? Love to see you, man. Um, Walter. Uh, this is Larry Bordofsky's son with the back issues. Nicole. Um, the unspoken prayer request for Alba. Uh, uh, Cindy, we're continuing to lift yes, you sir. and your parents up. We prayed for you guys. We're going to continue to pray. I want everybody here, everybody here to continue to pray for together as one for yes, Cindy's yes, parents in Jesus' yes, name. In Jesus name. <clears throat> uh, yes. Lori, we're continuing to pray for, pray for you and your boys and the stress. I want to just stop for a moment. I want to pray for every single person that's out there right now that is suffering from stress. And I'm not talking about, I am talking about the, the stress that you might have from your job, your relationships, but there's a different kind of stress. And you guys under, that, that have had this understand, um, when you go out and you are in a, a strong breeze and it just seems to be whipping all around you and you don't know which direction it's coming from and it's just nearly blowing you down, that's the kind of stress that I'm talking about. The kind of stress you don't know where it's coming from, but you just feel it over yourself. The anxiety that you feel over yourself, the depression that you feel over yourself, I'm letting you know right now to cast it out in Jesus' yes. name. Claim healing in Jesus' name. Well, I don't know how to do that. I'm telling you, I've been through that. I've been delivered. I've been healed, and yes. I walk that way yes. every day. I'm right now. I'm, I'm telling you, my my phone number is two eight one five four three one nine six nine. If you are suffering from anxiety, if you're suffering from depression, if you're just suffering from any of those type of things, yes, any right. kind of mental thing, please call me. I've been through it and I will pray with you personally. But right now I'm praying for you in Jesus name, yes. healing, yes. conviction, yes. that this is something that you can get yes. rid of and be moved yes. on and be healed I, I in Jesus name. I want to say something. I love how all of you are commenting. We're standing in agreement. Yes. There are different types of prayers and agreement prayer is one of the strongest. Yes. If you didn't know that, now you know. It yes. is the strongest because we all come together yes. in one accord yes. under his name. And we are praying for that. So I thank you all for standing with us in agreement in the mm -hmm. name of Jesus. I, I mean, it is such a powerful thing when we come together mm -hmm. and pray in agreement for these things. Because we stand on God's word and God's Amen. word is the truth. Amen. And that's what we stand on is the truth and yes. walking in it and walking. And we know that our faith in Jesus Christ, these things, you, you are healed. I'm not waiting. I'm, I'm sick. I'm waiting to be healed. No, 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 no. You're healed. Healed in Jesus' You're name. You're healed. Yes, in Jesus' name. You're free in Jesus' name. Yes. So I just want to encourage you, as Leslie was talking about, you know, you can take one toothpick and you can snap it so easy, right? But if you tie all seven toothpicks together and you try to break it, 
I'm telling you, it's it's nearly impossible. I'm telling you, the number seven, I wanted to use that because that's the number of completeness. That's there right. were seven days and God created everything, Come right? On. That's exactly right. Jesus uses the, the statement, I am, seven times in John. That is the completeness. God says it is good seven times yep. in Genesis. I'm telling you right now, when we come together and we are praying in a prayer of agreement, that is the completeness that we need. That's where we need to walk in. Praise God in, yes, Jesus, name. in Jesus' name. We want to continue to lift up uh, Charlie, unspoken prayer request. Mary, Mary Greer, Greer, unspoken prayer request. Jeannie Roberts, unspoken prayer request. <clears throat> Tina Coleman, until I hear otherwise, her wrist and the health issues that she was having uh, in her car. Continued prayers for our precious sister, Amy Dominguez, yes. and the trials that she's going through, that she's just gives, been given comfort and peace and joy. Even when it's raining outside, we can have joy. When Even when we are going through our worst battle, we can have peace. Because what, is, what does Jesus say? What does God say? Put on your armor and do what? Stand. 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 We can firm. have that peace when we wear our armor of God because we know God's already won. Praise Come God. Come on. Yes, he yes. does. We have the victory in, in Jesus. Jesus. Yes. Mama's eyes, we're continuing to pray for her. Diane with vertigo and the other health issues that she's got. Dominique, unspoken prayer request. Tony Gonzalez, continued supernatural healing in Jesus' name. Kim unspoken prayer request our our sister Karina that we met in Houston while we were eating at a at a restaurant never met her before we just sat there and we laid hands on her and we prayed for her for about and her family for about 20 minutes yes. she's got covid she's and uh, she's recovering from that Ainsley um Kathy Dottie, Dwayne, Quentin, Rue, and Stephen. God knows those situations, and we're claiming healing over each and every yes. one of those in Jesus' name. Larry Bordowski, the things that that my precious brother has been praying for, we're going to continue to claim. We're yes. walking. We're walking in a position of victory, Larry, in Jesus' name. In Jesus we're claiming name. it in Jesus' name. Yes. Praise God. We are going to continue to pray for Jay and Dwayne. Uh, spiritual direction, spiritual guidance, and also financial favor in some things that are going on yes, in their God, life. In Jody, she's uh, her tooth. Mm. We've been praying for her tooth. I know she goes to in 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 Donna. Endodontist. I don't know why I can't say that. Endodontist on Monday, but she's been in, in, in immense pain. We're continuing to pray for her yeah. for healing in Jesus' name. Um, I know a Becky, I'm not sure if she's online with us, but I know she went to the dentist yesterday for her own tooth issues. We're claiming that that was taken care of and healing, and I'm going to get a praise report for from uh, from her very soon. Uh, Keisha, we're claiming healing over her and the things that are going. Britt Wagner and her children. Yes. Carla, unspoken prayer request. Prayer request from Emily for Patty. Jeremy, unspoken prayer request. Lisa. Lisa Unspoken prayer request. Praise God. I'm not going to go into all the details last night, but we cast out some stuff last night. Praise God. We didn't do it. We did it in the name of Jesus. I want you to understand that. There's no more power in me and Leslie than is inside of you. The same power that rose Jesus from the grave lives in you. I want you to claim that. I want you to possess that. I want you to walk in that today as you too can cast out uh, evil spirits and demonic spirits. You too can lay hands and heal the sick in, in his name. In covered, Jesus name. Covered. I want you to understand when you live righteously and you live by what he has in the precipice and the prescriptions that he yes. gives, you too can walk in his favor like that. Father yes. God, thank you yes. in Jesus name. We're claiming unspoken prayer request for Shanna, Dwayne, the bipolar issues that he's dealing with. I'm telling you right now, those are issues that are over you, not in you, brother. That chain is broken. That chain is broken. Taz, unspoken prayer request. Larry and Soroya, Lisa for uh, financial and uh, again, lifting up Kathy. Kathy, unspoken prayer request for her as well. Yes, yes. As y'all said, as y'all were saying earlier, the Holy Ghost, the Holy Spirit has set us on fire. Remain in that. Remain. Don't don't let that flame. 
go down. That's right. You Amen. keep that flame lit in the name keep of Jesus. Lit. Keep it lit. It like is that a consuming flame. fire. It's a consuming fire consuming that fire. he has. And we thank you, Holy Spirit, that you have done, done, uh, come into our lives and that we have that with you, Jesus. We're yes. so thankful Amen. for that. Amen. Anything Praise else? Me. No, as far as I know, guys, if you're watching this live, you can continue to comment the prayer request. We'll add those for our next session together. Yes. It's Friday today, Freedom Friday. We'll be back on Monday morning. Guys, uh, just because uh, it, is, it is coming on the weekend, I want to invite every single person here. If you're close by, you can, you can join us for praise and worship in our message Sunday morning at 10 o'clock in Hallettsville at Grace Point Church. But I encourage you, go and worship and praise him yes. together. It says in the word of God, do not stop doing that. Yes. Go together with other believers of like mind. We hang out with the world all, all day long. We need to have some Jesus in us. So yes, I invite you guys. I also want to invite you to our revival, our community revival. Yes. It is for everybody from the 24th to the 28th in, of March this month. It's in a week and a half. You can go to my page, uh, Leslie's page, and you can see the poster that we have for the revival. We want to welcome you out yes. any one of those days. Yes. You, you you need someone to lay hands on you. Come on with yourself. You need you have a prophetic word. Reach out to us. Whatever you got going on in your life, we want to make sure that the Holy Spirit yes. is taken care of. So we yes. invite you to come and, yes. and join Evangelist us. Evangelist Bill Pierce. Will Bill be, Pierce. Bill he'll Pierce. Be there for a week. Yes. And I, I just say, come on. It's yes. going to be powerful. I know the spirit. I mean, it is. Oh, ooh, ooh, I I've been feel. praying. I yeah. know it. So y'all continue uh, to lift that up. Yes. Uh, if you're not close by that you can make it. You know, it we're just live. praying. It will be live. We're just praying for an outpour of the Holy Spirit that goes forth. Uh, and I am just praying for Bill Pierce, as I know he's geared up and oh, ready yeah. to he's come. Oh, yeah, in prayer every him. day over that. So I'm so excited for that. But you ready to close in prayer? A absolutely, absolutely. So Guys. thank you. If you're just joining in, and if you just caught us, go back and watch it from the beginning. Amen, amen. Go amen. back and watch it. Share this message if it's touched you. Yes. Share this message to get it out there so people, other people, can feel share and it. know that Please. fire of the Holy Spirit that's yes. consuming inside of us. Push share right now and share it onto your yes. timeline and touch somebody else in Jesus' in name. Jesus name. Guys, we love you very much. Yes. And we are, we are with you in spirit today. We send our love. We impart our prayers, our blessings, and our love in yes. Jesus' name over you guys. Yes. We'll see you yes. Monday morning at Monday 7 o'clock. Monday at 7. God bless. God bless.